Hey gamers, it's your boy Dingani playing Final Fantasy for the first time actually. Um, Cloud looks cool as heck, and actually getting to play his game is pretty hype. And uh, he's an interesting character. Please don't talk to me. Please get away from me. Cloud! Help! What just got crushed by a boulder? Help me! He should have ran faster. Cloud, what the fu- The Final Fantasy series is a series that I've never played or gotten into, and that could be because of a multitude of reasons. Maybe because by the time I was old enough to actually get into the series, there was already like 500 different Final Fantasies out there, or maybe because I just never had a huge interest in traditional RPGs. But with the Final Fantasy VII Remake finally being here, this was my opportunity to get into, you know, the Final Fantasy series. And the fact that they gave a Smash Bros character his own full-fledged game is absolutely amazing. And after 20 years of development, the Final Fantasy VII Remake is finally here. You see, my life mission is to finally be noticed as a true gamer, and I couldn't do that without playing Final Fantasy because it's like one of the most iconic video game series out there, you know, with the boy Cloud and everything. Uh, giant sword, because uh, he has a giant sword. But not gonna lie, I've been pretty hyped for this remaster. I've been wanting to get into the series for a while, so this remake was kind of my opportunity to jump into it. I literally have close to zero prior knowledge about Final Fantasy VII and just the Final Fantasy series in general, but don't worry about that, just pretend I'm an expert. So to start you off, you're kind of just thrown into the plot of Final Fantasy. You are Cloud Stripe, the anime boy with the iconic and massive sword, who is an ex-soldier and you basically team up with the Rebellion or the group known as Avalanche to stop shady stuff that the Shinra Electric Power Company is doing. And when I mean thrown into the plot of Final Fantasy, I mean like literally thrown in. My experience went a bit like this. Whoa, I'm Cloud Stripe. Whoa, I'm dying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Ah! Oh, never mind. I'm overpowered. Guys, is this legal? I don't think this is legal, guys. No, this is definitely not legal. Damn, this game's kind of easy. Not this game easy. is not easy! But once that's all settled, things slow down, and you're able to catch up with basically what's going on, and you properly learn who you're working with. You got the OG childhood friend trope character Tifa, or the character that everybody has a crush on for whatever reason. My boy Barrett, who just apparently doesn't know how to time walking through lasers. Like, Barrett, just, just wait for a second. They will go off. Jesse, my personal crush. <laughs> Jesse, you know, if you're free anytime, you can just hit me up. And of course, you got Biggs and Wedge, who are the boys. Oh, you also got the flower girl. Um, I really don't have anything to say about her. She's just kind of there. I know she's a major plot point, but whatever. All the characters in this game are unique and interesting in their own way. Whether it's their fun personalities or the fact that Cloud can jump 30 feet in the air, you'll find it in this game. Now, I know people like the traditional Final Fantasy turn-based combat in the original, but the new combat in this game is just so good. I think I kind of go sicko mode. Sorry, I don't know why I keep on saying that phrase. It's so stupid. The mix of the real-time-based combat with the tactical abilities infused with it just creates such a fun experience, especially when you're someone like Cloud, who is just insanely overpowered. Never mind, I take that back. So also, I have no idea what was in the original compared to this one, of course, but everything I've played so far has been relatively fun. And of course, this game looks amazing. Except this dude's counter. Like, I don't know what is going on. Hey, buddy, I saw... You know, never mind. Never... And the, never mind. The gameplay here is fast paced, chaotic, and really fun. I've been mainly just playing the main story. I haven't like touched any of the side missions or anything because I've been into the main story, of course. And also, I just don't want to do side missions. I don't want to save cats. I'm not going to save your cat, Biddy. Like, what do you want from me? I'm an ex-soldier. But yeah, like I said, the combat is amazingly polished. It's really fun to explore the world. And I really like doing that in games where you could just waste hours of time looking into the most unimportant things. Like, I love spending time looking into the lore in video games, so I really appreciate all the cool stuff that they packed in here. Also, a lot of JRPG-type games love to get super complicated in their upgrading systems, but thankfully, Final Fantasy VII keeps it fairly simple. So far, at least. Alright, so this game is so god dang over the top and chaotic, but honestly, I love it because of that reason. The story has been great, the game of course looks great, and all the characters are just really interesting. Like bro, this game is wild, and like bro, bro, oh, come on, you you cannot say that's not a bit over the top. I know JRPGs typically tend to have some pretty similar qualities with anime, of course, but this game without a doubt has felt the most anime out of any JRPG I've ever played, 
And that's not a bad thing either, I'm a huge weep, so I'm super into it. I've heard the remake is pretty much going to be split up into multiple parts, but I mean, it's such a difference in quality compared to the original, that as long as they give me enough content where it doesn't feel like I'm being scammed, then I'm fine with it. Of course, ideally, like, I would like it to be packed into one game, but that would have taken another 30 years of development. Also, I saw that this game is like 30 hours long, which is kind of the standard for AAA titles today. Alright, so obviously, like I said, I am a Final Fantasy noob, but I can definitely see why Final Fantasy is one of the most influential video games out there, and this remake is pretty hype. Final Fantasy is kind of dope. But god, you cannot say that it's not over the top. Hello gamers, thank you for watching this video. If you want to talk more Final Fantasy with me, feel free to join the Discord, or you could also follow me on Twitter for bad memes. But anyway, regardless, uh, thank you for watching the video. I will see you in the next one.